Well, it's gone. Like, all of it. It's like, it looks spanking brand new. Good morning, you guys. We are on our way to the fertility doctor again. Okay, I am out of the house with both my girls before they normally even get out of bed. I am committed to bringing you guys along because you guys, we're starting our journey again. This month we are checking to see if my hormones are are on point and if they are okay, if they're good, then it's so loud in here. Hang on, we'll be there in just one second. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so what I was trying to say was that they're gonna try to check to see if my hormones are imbalanced. So that means like if my progesterone drops or something like seven days after I ovulate, then they wouldn't be comfortable me doing like a natural IVF cycle. They would wanna give me a lot of hormones and that would be through injection. And so I'm pretty much proving myself this month. So we're doing ultrasounds to see when I ovulate which will then figure out when I can do my blood test. So anyways, gotta get in with two kids. Yeah. ultrasound and it looks like I still haven't ovulated so I'm gonna go in on Tuesday so if you go in every other day and they either see your egg is still there or if you they've seen that you've ovulated they know that you've ovulated within that 48 hours so anyways um, it gives them a better timeline um, to do your blood work so anyways we're gonna go back in on Tuesday for one more ultrasound and then hopefully they'll get an idea of where my hormones are at Okay, you think what mommy would learn after about the hundredth time that Callie got either pee or poop or a ton of milk on her or slobber or drool, therefore it's just too wet for her to wear. You would think mommy would keep extra clothes out here in the living room, but no. And it always happens right during Kinsley's nap time. So we are naked a lot. But thank goodness we're in Southern California because it's warm all the time. It's literally like warm right now. Okay, this is my new favorite. What do you think? <laughs> uh, hi. It's really crazy to think that we could have another little one. One year from now. Whoa. Well, you guys are coming along on this um, IVF transfer journey. And um, this month is just pretty much me proving myself if my body can handle do the hormones on its own next month will be them looking inside of me and making sure I don't have any polyps or anything like that and then the following month would be the transfer that's why she kind of likes you to come in three months before you plan on transferring just so you have plenty of time to kind of you know look at things look at your hormones you know maybe you need to have something done and so you you don't feel like rushed and so it, it, it was, a, it is a little weird. Like Callie's six months, I'm not really edging to get pregnant right this second. But um, I also feel like in three months, I probably will be ready. I, we, we personally like our kids close together. We like them less than two years apart. So here's our thought process. So if we try in June, our kiddos, Callie and future little baby it's so weird i can like be talking to you future baby that might exist hopefully will exist um but they would be 18 months apart and we we've really enjoyed um kinsley and callie being really close together in age okay but let's be realistic and be honest um the transfer might not work or the transfer could work but we could miscarry and we could miscarry after you know even carrying the baby for a couple of months and so in that case, maybe you would take a, a small time off and then maybe go for another transfer again. Well, in that case, you know, our kiddos would probably be closer to two years apart. And so I feel like starting at 18 months, we are comfortable and happy with them close together. But if anything did happen, you know, we could potentially still have 
um, Callie close in age with her next sibling. So anyways, that's where our mind is. I know that's not everyone's opinion. I know that's not everyone's um, thought process on having children, but we really enjoy having them, them close together. So anyways, that's kind of why we're starting right now. But look at this little chunk among this naked. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with my kids, you guys. I am so blessed. I am beyond blessed. Philip and I say all the time, and I don't know if we say it to you guys enough, if we only have Kinsey and Callie for the rest of our lives, we will be happy. We will be grateful. We will be thankful for what God has given us. Um, but that doesn't mean we're not going to pursue um, having more children because we do dream of having a big family. But these two, they really are enough for us. And we love you. Do you know that? We love you. Mommy and Daddy love you. Hi. She's so sweet. Do you know who else loves you? Your birth mama. She tells me all the time that she loves you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being with us. Thank you guys for coming along, being supportive. I can't believe how much is gonna be going on over the next couple of months, but are you guys excited? Are you guys excited to be here? Like, yeah, yeah, we're excited. And I know you guys are too, cause you guys are wonderful and loving and supportive and we're just so thankful for you. Are you guys having a tea party? Good job, Kelly. Oh, oh, I was just gonna tell him what we were doing. <laughs> Hang on. Whoa. Whoa. So Callie can't quite sit up on her own yet. She's six months, so that's kind of a milestone. At six months, they should be sitting up on their own. Um, just so like nursing and developmental, like that's kind of the milestone, but you know, kids are plus or minus. But Callie specifically, because she had the brace on for so long, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I guess you can go back a few months and you can see Callie was in this brace to keep her hips in place because she was born with right hip dysplasia. In other words, her hip could pop in and out of the socket. So she was in that brace for so long that I think she's still a little bit behind physically, developmentally. So right now, we are putting her up to sit up a little bit. But she's still not sitting like on her own. But this is actually doing better than, than she has been. Good job, Callie. If the pillows weren't there, she would just like fall right over. And maybe we're gonna fall right over because Kinsley wants to give her daily loving. Ah. Callie, what do you think? Do you like it? Is that kisses? Oh, very sweet. So nice. Pillow? Pillow? You want a pillow too? Hi, guys. You want to say hi, guys? Hi, guys. What do you say? No, what do you say? Say hi, guys. You want to please hold it? Yeah. It's such nice manners. I guess you can hold it. Hi guys. Hi guys. Remember when I told you how my stroller had mold on it? Well, it's gone. Like all of it. It's like it looks spanking brand new. I literally disassembled it, put it in the in the washing machine with my laundry detergent, and I put some vinegar in there. Um, for like, I put it in like the fabric softener section, and I put it in like the bleach section. So I like wash the whole thing with vinegar pretty much it is gone like not a speck anyways it is gone i love it i'm sure it would happen with other strollers but i just feel like this fabric is really good and it just like came right out um anyways a lot of you guys ask what strollers i use um i'll link in the description below both of them but this one is our single stroller it's the um city mini gt we went for the gt because of the wheels and how you can kind of off-road and stuff with it and then um we just use the city select for our double stroller so anyways i'll leave those in the description below if you guys want to go check those out because i know a lot of you guys have been asking but yes we do love our strollers at some point um, do you guys want, I was going to do a review on each one of my strollers and why I like them and how to use them and all that good stuff, but you guys let me know. Well, you guys, the kids are in bed. It is 11 o'clock. We just got off the phone with birth mom just to say hi and see how she's doing. She's doing good. Um, doing better than she was 
um, the other week, which we are very thankful for. And thank you guys for all your prayers and well wishes. So anyways, hopefully you guys had a wonderful day and you guys are excited to come on this journey because we've got so much coming up over these next couple months. We're excited. So anyways, go let your love multiply. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.